All right, let's get right into it. If you've been anywhere near the home server world lately, you've probably felt the buzz. And it's all about one thing, Unraid's latest big release, version 7.2.0. And let me tell you, this is not just some minor patch. The community is seriously fired up, and we're going to dig into exactly why this thing is making such huge waves. Which, you know, leads us to the big question, right? Is Unraid 7.2.0 the update? the one we've all been waiting for. Does it finally deliver on all those things people have been asking for for, well, for ages? Let's find out. So is it a game-changing update? Why is everyone so fired up? Look, it's not every day a software update gets this kind of hype. Usually it's just, oh, new version, and you move on. But this one, you can really feel the excitement. It feels like more than just a new number on a screen. And I think this quote from someone in the community just nails it. This update just hits different. That's really the core of it. There's this overwhelming sense that the Unraid team was actually listening. And the result is something that just feels better. It's smoother, it's faster, it's just packed with these little improvements that make life easier. And that's because this is way more than just a patch. It's like they tackled two huge things at once. On one side, you've got this complete makeover of the user experience, making it way easier to use. And on the other side, you've got some seriously powerful upgrades under the hood that the real tech heads are going to love. All right, section one, the mobile first makeover. Finally, a UI that works on your phone. Okay, let's talk about the biggest, most obvious change. And honestly, it's the one that's getting a standing ovation. The web interface is now, well, it actually works on your phone. Managing your server on the go isn't a total nightmare anymore. And I mean, just look at this comparison. It's night and day, right? Before, you were constantly pinching and zooming, trying to hit these tiny little buttons on a clunky layout that was clearly never meant for a phone. Now, people are literally calling it stupid fast. It's smooth. It's designed for mobile from the ground up. You're not fighting with the UI just to do something simple like restart a Docker container anymore. It's a huge relief. And yeah, this quote pretty much says it all. I've been dying for the mobile browser interface. You can just feel the years of frustration in that one sentence, can't you? This wasn't some minor feature on a wish list. For so many people, this was the number one thing they wanted. And Unraid, well, they finally came through. Okay, upgrades for power users. We're talking Raid Z expansion and a brand new API. But look, this update isn't just about making things look pretty on your phone. Let's peel back the layers and look at what's in it for the power users. Because Unraid 7.2.0 brought two absolute monster features that the home lab crowd and, you know, the serious data hoarders have been dreaming about. So first up, let's talk about RAID ZS expansion. If you're running ZFS on your server, you know that super robust file system that's all about data integrity, this is a BFD, a big frickin' deal. See, in the past, adding a new drive to your ZFS pool was a nightmare. You had to back up everything, destroy your entire storage pool, add the new drive, and then rebuild the whole thing from scratch. It was complicated, it took forever, and frankly, it was pretty risky. Well, guess what? Not anymore. And the new process? Well, here it is. One, get a new drive. Two, add it to the pool. Three, that's it. You're done. Seriously. The complexity is just gone. They've made growing your ZFS storage so, so much easier. All right, next feature. And it's for a totally different kind of power user. The kind of person who would say something like, not a fan of click ops. And if you don't know, click ops is that term for when you have to manually click, click, click your way through a web interface to get anything done. It's the enemy of automation, and a lot of developers and sysadmins, well, they hate it. So what's the cure for ClickOps? A brand new built-in API. This is huge. This opens up a whole new world of automation. You can write your own scripts, you can build custom integrations with other services, you can manage your server with pro-level tools like Ansible. I mean, think about it. You could set up a script that spins up a Minecraft server for your friends whenever someone types a command in Discord and then automatically shuts it down after a few hours. That's the kind of cool hands-off stuff this enables. It's a massive step up. So we've seen the shiny new features, but what's the reality on the ground? What are the actual users thinking? As you can probably guess, it's a mix. You've got the super excited folks, and then you've got the more cautious ones. First, you've got this crowd. The hold my beer, I'm going in crowd. You know who I'm talking about. The second that update notification pops up, they're clicking install. They just dive right in, ready to see what's new and what breaks. And then you've got the other camp, the I must let others be guinea pigs first camp. And hey, this makes total sense, right? 
If your server is running critical stuff for your family or your work, you can't afford for it to go down. For these folks, stability is everything. They're going to wait and see, let the dust settle a bit, and you know what? Both approaches are totally valid. So what are those hold my beer folks reporting back? Well, for the most part, it's really, really good news. We're hearing things like quick and painless a lot. Everything came back, no issues. People upgrading from even way older versions like 6.x are saying it went surprisingly smoothly. Plus, some of the bugs that were in the early test versions, sounds like they've been fixed. That's exactly what you wanna hear. But look, it's not perfect. No big new release ever is, right? To be fair, we should mention that a few people have run into some minor hiccups. A few little UI quirks here and there, a couple of community plugins that need to be updated by their developers, that kind of thing. It's pretty standard for a point over lease, but yeah, it's something to keep in mind. All right, time for the big question. Should you upgrade? So this all brings us to the million dollar question. Should you hit that upgrade button? And the answer, like always, is it depends. It really depends on what's important to you and your setup. So we put together this little decision matrix to make it easy. If your number one priority is a great mobile experience, just upgrade. Seriously, do it now. If you're all about that ZFS flexibility and you've been dying for expansion, yep, time to upgrade. Want to get into automation and scripting with the new API? This update is for you. It's time. But if your server is the family Plex machine and you absolutely need maximum uptime, maybe just hold off for a little bit. Wait for the 7.21 bug fix release, or at the very least, make sure you have a solid backup before you do anything. But here's the real takeaway. Whether you upgrade today or in a month, this release is a big deal. This feels like a turning point for Unraid. It's not just another update. This is Unraid modernizing, getting ready for the future. They've updated the front end and seriously beefed up the back end. This is setting the stage for what's next. And that kind of leaves us with one last question to chew on. Unraid is clearly evolving, right? They're focusing on usability, on power, on automation. So what does this say about the future of the home server in general? Where is all this heading? What's the next big thing gonna be?